Hi everyone, in this video we will have a look at how to add LAN to your ESP32. The most commonly available LAN board is the W5500. So this is a short video just to explain how to get the board working uh, on your ESP32. When you buy a new board, you just want to get it working as quickly as possible. Uh, and this is the code and the connections how to get this working. I was not able to find a simple example of how to get this working. So I created this video, I hope it's helpful to you. So this is what the board looks up, up close. And if you look on the back side, you will see it's labeled um, with the different pins. It can either work with five volt or 3.5 volt uh, and it uses the SPI interface. Okay, and if we have a look at the pinouts of the ESP32, this is what the pinouts looks on the board uh, that I'm using, it might be different on your board. Okay, so this is the pins and connections that we will use on the ESP32 and the W550. On the ESP32 we have these pins and the W550 we, we have these pins. So D5 will connect to your CS on the W550. 18 to the SCK, 19 to MISU, 23 to MOSI, 3.3 to your VCC, and then your ground connection. Okay, so if you wire it all up, it will look like this. I use the following colors. Uh, you can use the same colors just to follow along and make it easier uh, to make the connections exactly the same. Okay, for the serial clock that's connected to pin 18, I used yellow, MISU that's connected to pin 19, uh, I used orange, MOSI that's connected to pin 23, blue, uh, then chip select that's connected to pin 5, that's green. Okay, and that's what it looks like uh, on my breadboard and uh, W5500. So you can see the colors and connections there. Great, so now that we have it all wired up, let's get coding. I opened up a blank sketch here. I'm currently using the uh, Arduino IDE version 2.3.4. <clears throat> uh, you might use a different version, but it should work similar. So the first step is to install the Ethernet library from our library manage, manager. So just click here and search for Ethernet. And then the very first one by various um, is the one we should install. If you click here on more info, you'll see it takes you to the uh, Arduino official documentation. So it's actually written by Arduino themselves. And you can just click here to install. And it should take a second or two just to install it. Okay, so once it's installed, the first step is to include it uh, in your sketch. So just say include ethernet.h with a capital E. Okay, so let's define our chip select pin, which is pin 5 in our case. Uh, and that's the green wire like this. So ethernet SPI SCS chip select pin 5. Okay, so next step is to define our MAC address and IP address. It doesn't come with um, a hard-coded MAC address, so you can define it here in your, in your code. Uh, and your IP address, you can probably make it the same as your local LAN IP address range. Great, so let's start with our setup function. Um, so let's just serial begin, 9600, which is uh, fairly standard and then add the delay. I found if it needs some time to initialize the serial port, if you don't add the delay, you get some um, garbage out and the serial port is not ready yet. So a thousand is a bit much, but uh, that's on the safe side. And then just uh, serial.print starting ethernet connection. Great, so the next step is to define our chip select pin. And we define it up here with this variable as five. Um, so yeah, it's different on the Arduino, uh, on the ESP. So we must define it like this here. 
Then let's start our Ethernet connection or board with this command, ethernet.begin. With this command, our Ethernet uh, board should have started up and we can test if it's all working correctly with this code. So checking Ethernet hardware, ethernet.hardware status equal to ethernet no hardware. Then you say error, no ethernet hardware detected and you, you end the program with a return. Uh, else you say ethernet hardware detected. Great. So let's see if this works. Okay, before compiling, just make sure you've got the right port and board selected. So in my case, it's port 9 and the board is node 32. So ESP32 and uh, node 32. S. Yes. So once you make sure that's okay, you can just double check by asking get board info and that makes sure that everything's working correctly and we can just compile. So with some boards, it's, diff it's uh, required to, put, to press the button on the board while, while it's connecting, uh, otherwise it can't connect to your board. Uh, we'll see now when it comes to that. Okay, it takes a bit longer the first time it compiles, but after that it should go quicker. Okay, and it's almost there where it's asking us to connect. And at this point you must press the E in button on your board for it to connect, otherwise it's not connecting. And that's it. So to see our output, open up your serial monitor and obviously there's nothing there because it's already gone through the setup procedure. So just press the reset button on your board and it restarts, starting Ethernet connection, checking Ethernet hardware, Ethernet hardware detected. So all working correctly. Okay, great. So now that you know it's all connected and working correctly, uh, you can add more functionality to the code. Uh, so as a net, next step, let's uh, check if the cable is connected. To test if the LAN cable is connected, we can use the following code. So just type in um, ethernet.link status and if the link status is equal to link off or value 2, uh, then we can just say link status is off uh, and else Uh, link status is on, cable is connected, and we're ready to go. And then we can also test the connection by pinging the IP address, and we just print that to the serial uh, monitor as well. Okay, so I recompiled the sketch, and let's just reset and see what output we get. And it's checking the hardware, and the hardware is connected, and the link is off, cable, check cable connection. So let me just uh, plug in a LAN cable and reset it again and again it checks link is on cable is connected and we're ready to go so uh, we can just ping this ip address to, to test if the connection is actually on okay let's see if we can uh, test the connection by test by pinging the ip address so let's just type in uh, ping uh, 192.1 68.1.177 and let's wait if we get the reply and we are not getting a reply okay so let's just make sure that the IP address that we specified is on the same network that we are on and to test the, the IP address that we have we can just do an IP config config and I see here my address is 192.168.2.103 and that one is 1, so that's the mistake. Uh, so let's just change the address to 2 here in the code and recompile. Okay, and let's see, 66177. So let's just uh, ping that if and see what happens. Uh, well, 2.177 and now we're getting a reply.
Great, so now we've got communication to our ESP32 via LAN and we're ready to communicate with it. The code for this sketch is available from GitHub. I included the link in the description below. Let me know if you managed to get yours working or you had any troubles or difficulties. Also, let me know what you would like to be covered in future. I hope you found this interesting and useful. If so, please let me know in the comments below and like and subscribe. Till next time.